The world's most popular sports equipment company has come out with barbells now. Strength equipment specifically. Nike now has Nike Strength. We've done basically a reaction video and we've now brought them in house. You asked us to do a barbell review specifically first. If you'd like to see other reviews from Nike, like their squat racks, their benches, their plates, we actually have them next door and they are cool. But if you'd like to see those, let us know in the comments. Also, if this is your first time here, we're barbell nerds. So if you'd like to see reviews on barbells, all sorts of barbells, including every other piece of equipment, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Okay, this is the Nike Strength Premium Barbell. The question is, with so many barbells on the market, is this one as good as the many competitors at various price points, or are you really buying this simply because it either says, just do it, or a Nike swoosh? Let's find out. Hey guys, it's Coop from Garage Gym Reviews, and today I'm reviewing the Nike Strength Premium Barbell. I'm gonna walk through all of this. If you'd like to see me do a specific comparison on this versus other bars, feel free to let me know in the comments, but I will speak today to other barbells as well. Let's start with the specs. This is a 28 millimeter multi-purpose barbell. I say that up front because 28 millimeter is not usually associated with multi-purpose. Typically, a multi-purpose barbell is a 28 and a half millimeter. The reason being powerlifting barbells are 29 millimeter, a little bit thicker, a little bit stiffer. Olympic weightlifting barbells are 28 millimeters, a little bit thinner, a little bit whippier, and basically they took the middle of that so you can use it for both domains and you have a 28 and a half. But this is not that, this is 28 millimeters. Some people will really like that. Some people will prefer something a little bit thicker. For me, I do mostly powerlifting type movements, so I would like a thicker, stiffer bar. I also like center neural, but for people that are just doing a wide variety of movements, say CrossFit type of stuff, this is gonna feel fine, but it's just gonna be a little bit thinner than what you're used to on a typical 20 and a half millimeter. So not a reason not to buy it, just something that I wanna make clear from the get. So as you can see, one of the unique things about their premium barbell is the colors. And the way they're able to get colors is they're painting these. This is actually a ceramic coating. Ceramic coating, the brand name for ceramic coatings in this world is Cerakote. That's like the number one. Another company is Duracote. What I've found is oftentimes the Cerakotes, the Duracotes, and the ceramic coatings are similar, but not always the exact same. Usually companies use Cerakote because they want the brand name of Cerakote and they don't mind paying a little bit extra for it. People use ceramic coatings like Nike is using because they don't wanna pay the brand fee. They don't have to pay Cerakote to use their stuff. They can use cheaper ceramic coating. So the question is, is this as good of a coating as Cerakote? Well, <laughs> I've got some issues with it, but I'll talk about it in a little bit. Then to the neural. This is using dual neural marks. Basically, it's using the same neural marks you find from an IWF and IPF barbell in one because it's used for multi-purposes, so they put both of them. I will say the knurling in general starts and stops is nice. It's a very consistent neural. On their website, they say it's a medium volcanic neural. Now, I'm just gonna be honest, I've touched a lot of barbells, so I, I think I can speak somewhat to this. This to me does not feel like a, a volcano neural. It doesn't really even look like a volcano neural. Part of that may be because they're putting a ceramic coating so it fills in some of the holes, but part of me also thinks maybe they said volcano neural because it sounds cool and it's not really a volcano neural. To me, it looks more like a hill neural. It's a medium neural, pretty passive. I don't think it's a bad neural. It feels good, but it's not, in my opinion, like. I don't know if they just use Volcano because it sounds cool. That's what it feels like to me. This does not feel like a Volcano Neural. If you're wanting Volcano Neural, I wouldn't necessarily get this one, but I wouldn't not buy this because of the knurling. It's a nice, medium, passive, middle of the road knurling. So if you want something that's gonna grip enough for deadlifts, heavy cleans, back squats, those sorts of things is gonna work, but if you want something that's not gonna hurt your hand, this isn't either. This is a really nice middle of the road, works well. Then to the sleeve. The sleeve is a standard, this is a standard size barbell. The sleeve on this is also Cerakoted. I don't like Cerakoting on the sleeves. It ends up wearing, as you can see, like we've been using this one a bit. It's got wear already, like after you've had these. I've got some Cerakote bars I've had for five, uh, probably 
nearly 10 years or so when American Barbell first came out with them. And the Cerakote sleeves always look pretty bad. So just understand, if you get a black Cerakote, when you get it in, it's gonna look amazing, but over time, they do wear. It has a nice end cap, typical Nike logo, very standard, very run of the mill, nothing too special. And then this is a rib sleeve. Some of you guys like smooth sleeves. I prefer some ribbing, but this is a nice sleeve. One thing that I think is pretty unique about this is actually the rotation system they're using. So most general purpose barbells, multi-purpose barbells, things that you're gonna use for a lot of different movements, they're using bushings for the rotation system. Bushings are very nice because they last a long time. They also have a very consistent rotation that's not very fast. Olympic weightlifting barbells, the highest end that are out there, the ones they actually use in the Olympics, often use needle bearings. These are using eight needle bearings. They don't tell me if there's eight total or eight in each sleeve. I would guess there's four in this sleeve, four in that sleeve. Only really high end, like Aleikos, they'll use that many needle bearings in each sleeve. Now, bushing versus bearings, you can decide which one you like the most. Not one is necessarily better than the other. It just depends on how you're using it. I would say, for longevity and for multi-purpose barbells, bushing is the best. It's the reason that most of the multi-purpose barbells that are out there are using bushings. Bearings end up wearing more over the time. They also spin faster. This is a nice spinning bar. It's not like it's crazy fast spinning. Over time, as it moves more and more, it'll loosen up and spin faster. But really, you don't necessarily want a crazy fast spinning bar. So personally, they would probably market the bearings as like a benefit. To me, for multi-purpose, I would actually prefer bushing. But again, not a huge deal and different people have different opinions on that. Now, one other is the tensile strength of the steel. The gold standard right now for the tensile strength, <laughs> gotta show the shorts. The gold standard for the tensile strength is 190K tensile strength. That's what nearly every multi-purpose bar out there is using. And so is this one. So really, th th I'll like break all this down. My guess is they looked at the market and said, what are things that other people are doing that we can also add to this, but what are some maybe minor changes we can add to make ours feel a little bit more premium? Things like the ceramic coating, things like bearings in the sleeves, maybe 28 millimeter, I think that was a unique decision, and also marketing the Volcano Neural that I think is non-existent. <laughs> so, should you buy this bar? Well, here's the competitors. This bar, the premium version, is $325 plus $25 shipping. So to get it in your hands, we're looking at about 375 bucks. When you compare that to competitors, and there are many, but these are the ones that I think that you should most look at. One, obviously, I think is the gold standard, the one everybody competes against, is the Rogue Fitness Ohio Bar. They specifically have Cerakote versions of their bar that have been out for a long time that include Rogue Work Hardening. They're the, I mean, they're the standard. They're the reason everybody goes to, and they're also made in the USA. This is imported but those bars are 350 bucks, plus typically around 25 bucks. So you're looking about a $25 difference between a Made in USA Rogue bar that's very proven versus this one. Then you have Rep Fitness. They have their Colorado bar. The Colorado bar has Duracoat, but costs $320, but has free shipping. So it's a little bit cheaper. You also have the Titan Titan series bar that's using a ceramic coating as well, but it's $360 retail with free shipping, but they use that because it's a highly inflated price and they have sales all the time. So really it's actually, most of the time it will be cheaper. So the question is, should you buy this bar in comparison to those others for value, for specs or anything like that? No. <laughs> The reason you buy this bar, and I think this is very obvious, is because it's got a swoosh on it. It's because it says just do it on it. Like I'm just being clear here, there's an honest review. This bar is not better than the competition. If you just want like the best general purpose bar for the value, Rogue blows this away. I mean, they're proven, just a fantastic bar. But that's not to say this is a bad bar. It's a good bar, it's good enough for most people. And if you, like you had a Rogue in this side by side, honestly, unless you're really into barbells, you wouldn't be able to tell a really big difference. But if you really like the Nike logo, you like orange, cause <laughs> I love orange, or you like the Just Do It, you like that sort of thing, which I think that's fine to buy. This is the bar for you. But if that's not what you're into, you don't care about that. No, this is not a better performing bar than those other ones I mentioned. And this is the other thing. The rep bar I mentioned, the road bar I mentioned, lifetime warranties. This guy's got a five year warranty. Man, when I buy a barbell, my thought early on was I wanna buy a barbell I can pass down to my grandkids. How cool would that? That's a sick inheritance. Inheritance of strength. 
This is a five year warranty on Nike Strength Company. Not saying, like Nike is proven and tested, but Nike Strength isn't necessarily. So we don't know how these bars will perform over the long term. Having only a five year warranty on a barbell, when you can get a similar barbell with a lifetime warranty, at a similar price, it's just hard for me to recommend this, other than those of you that really like that swoosh. I know there's a lot of you. So, you're wanting to know my opinion on the Nike Strength Premium Barbell? That's my opinion. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. How do you think it compares to the others? I'm glad Nike's entering the market. I just hope they keep coming out with other stuff. But this is Coop from Garage Reviews. I'll see you next time. Peace.